Hello once again our most valued student my name is confident and welcome to the continuation of our factorization and in this case uh, it's a continuation we were looking at factorization by grouping so this was the previous lesson and the previous of the previous lesson was also factorization uh, that involved brackets here where it says uh involving brackets and changing the sign rule so there's quite a number of lessons that we've been doing but now we are looking at the factorization and look at this this is the difference of two squares so guys if you have missed previous lessons it is good that you first go previous ones watch those videos so that it can make sense what we're doing here that's why i encourage you to always subscribe and become a part of the family now look at this one factorization difference of two squares an important concept which I don't want you to struggle with. Look at this. Let's say they're saying here, uh, simplify this without a calculator. For example, here, you don't want to use a calculator, but look at this. If I say to me, do you solve 12 squared? Or you say to me, I need to solve 12 squared minus 10 squared. And I must no calculator. No calculator. You don't want me to use a calculator. So how do I go about this? It's not complicated. From here, what do you, you don't have to simplify this um, uh, 12 squared. It's possible. You can say 12 squared is 144 minus 10 squared. It's 100, which is equal to 144 minus 100. You can see here the answer is 44, right? But let's use the concept of a difference of two squares. So if you say 12 squared minus 10 squared, now using difference of two squares, I open the bracket see that then when we talk about the difference of two squares what you see look at this what i'm getting here if i erase here what you see you see 12 minus 10 right so that's what i'm going to write in the first bracket so i'm going to write 12 minus 10 in the second bracket again i write 12 and 10 but instead of minus i put a plus you see that then we continue what is 12 minus 10 it's 2 put a bracket and then what is 12 plus 10 it's 22 see that now 2 times 22 is 44 do you see what i mean when i talk about the difference of two squares it was simpler working on the first one but what about they say i need to also simplify the second one it says what 87 squared minus 86 squared as an example all right, so just a disclaimer, guys. There is noise in the background, but I just wanted to bring you the, uh, this video. So just uh, pardon me for the noise, but let's uh, get continuing here. I say, if they give me this, which is 87 squared, so what I do, I open this and I open two brackets, right? Now, what you need to know, when you're talking about the difference of two squares, you are looking at a square that's the first part two squares and you're looking at that sign it's minus it must always be minus so look at this when i'm solving it you write the 87 you write the 86 as i said pretend you don't have that square what you see you see 87 minus 86 right so that's what you're gonna write in this with a minus there and then the other one again it's 87 but it's plus 86 you see that so what is 87 minus 86? It's 1. And then here, what is 87 plus 86? So 7 plus 6 is 13. 3 carry 1. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 1, uh, 17. So what is 1 times 173? It's 173. See, I didn't use a calculator. I just worked it out. But now, let me just test this with my calculator. If I to say what is 87 squared minus 86 uh, squared see it's 173 so this is the concept guys we mean when you're talking about the difference of two squares now let us come back to the uh, focus here to say what is the difference of two squares so if they say x squared minus y squared this is what we mean by the difference of two squares where where is this difference difference means minus so if you see the word difference it simple means a minus sign so there it is the difference and minus now they are saying two squares there are how many there are two so this is the first square square number one 
and that is the second square number two so there will be squares so x squared see there are two of them and then there is a minus that's what we mean by a difference of what of two squares so if they give me x squared minus y squared you open the brackets forget about this and what do you see you see x minus y you see that's what i'm saying that's the first thing you write so you write here x minus y on the other one you just interchange the sign x plus y then that is done let's move on so that was the first one let's look at the second one if they say x squared minus 4 difference of two squares x squared minus 4 why do i say it's a difference of two squares look at 4 you can write it as x squared and then 4 is a square and it is 2 squared you see you must always take a number back to its square version you open the bracket so what we have x minus 2 and then x plus 2 but there is a simple thing that you can do to check if a number is a square for example i've got 4 what i do is i take a calculator and say from the 4 that i'm given i find the square root of 4 you see it will give me the 2 so if a number has a square root it means that number is a square you see so you just quickly find the square root of that number and then you look at it and you see that there is a minus then it's a, it's a difference of two squares there is the interesting one this one uh students sometimes struggle x squared minus one you see students struggle here because they're like but what do i do next uh, i don't see a square here look with the calculator you must always remind yourself square root of one is what is one one squared is what is one so one is a square because you can now write it as x squared minus one squared you see then you open your brackets like that as we're saying so it becomes what x minus one and you are right x plus one now can you try the next one which is this one can you try it if they say find the difference of two squares what answer were you going to give there it's a difference of two squares can you try that all right let me do this let's do it together it's x squared minus 4y squared you know 4 can be written as what we just did it x squared so you express everything with a square 4 is 2 squared and then y squared see that equal to then open a bracket and close open and close as i say pretend you don't have all these these squares so what you see you see x minus 2y that's what you write in the first bracket so and then the other one you just interchange the sign so you've got x minus 2y and then you've got x plus 2y you see so sum here is still fine here you could have written this as x squared minus because there is a square and a square sum they prefer now to write this as 2y and then they put a bracket and they say square this is still good it's a difference of two squares your answer will still be correct but what i don't want you to do be careful of this error here whereby from here what you're going to do you just remind you said okay i see the brackets and then you see the brackets then you've got x minus 4y and then you've got x plus 4y what is wrong here the 4 you never changed the 4 so this then is wrong you need to convert the 4 as your 2 squared are you with me all right so that is that so let's look at the next one here so that is that one here let's look at the next question what is this one it says what there it is interesting hey 16 b squared minus 25 c squared what did i say you need to find the square of each number but the easier way to find the square of a number is to say square root so square root of 16 is what is 4 so if i know if i say 4 squared so 16 is a square and it is 4 and then again i move on 25 i find square root of 25 it gives me what 5 so here i can rewrite this as squares you see it's 4 squared b squared minus 5 squared c squared everything is in square form from here that is where now i open my brackets and i open my bracket now as i keep on saying pretend you don't have that and you don't have that 
what do you say 4p minus 5c that's what you're gonna write in the first bracket let me take it back so you need to have 4p minus 5c the other one is still 4p but it's what plus 5c that is the answer are you with me so don't uh, make it complicated it's not complicated you just need to be careful there is the other one now pay attention here and b i want you to pay attention here it says what x to the power 4 minus 16 i want you to pay attention here now when they give you such a question again when you see an even number it must be an even number either it's two four six eight whatever and then you see minus and any other part here if there are two uh terms here more like a binomial you must know it's a still a difference of two squares but now as i i said previously 16 is what square root of 16 is 4. so let me maintain that for now so what i will have is I will write this as x to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 2 still fine which is equal to then you open your two brackets as you said so forget about the powers what do you see you see x minus 4 and then forget about the powers again you see x plus 4 now this is where you need to be sensitive anything with a plus is already done but look at this one okay i wrote x that is where actually i want to bring the actual answer this is not the answer this is where now i want to show you that four what do you do to that four you say four divided by two then you get what you get two that's what you write there two and two please don't forget when it's a difference of two squares you come and divide anything that is a bigger than two but obviously it must be an even number meaning it must be a factor of 2. So for that, that's why I divide. So look at this now. It's x squared minus 4, x squared plus 4. This is done. Done. Why? It's not a difference of 2 squares. It's a plus. But now I focus on this one. You can see that it can go further, meaning if I continue with it, it's x squared. Now what is 4? Remember 4 is what? 2 squared. And then you've got what? x squared plus 4. Anything with a plus is done. Then I still have a difference of two squares. There, you see that? Open a bracket and close. Open a bracket, and here you'll have x squared plus 4. Here, x minus 2, you see that? And then also it's x plus 2. Then it's done. So whenever you see, after solving it, and you're still seeing a squared, you must be careful because it can go further and further. All right. There is another way I can advise you. Whenever you see different powers like this, where there is more than a power of 2, for example, as we said, x to the power of 4. Now, 16, if you check your calculator, is 2 to the power of 4. How do you get it? You say 2 in the calculator. You press equal to. And then you have shift. And then you press the F-A-C-T. Fact. Like in my calculator here, I think I've done this in the previous lessons. I did show some of you guys. If you want to find the prime factors of 16 so what you do you say 2 equal to shift then in this area here you press this effect it will give you 2 to the power of what of 4 that is what you'll be having for what for 16 and then you see when you have it like this is good because now you open a bracket close open close then Forget about the sign, the powers. If you forget about that and you forget about that, what do you see? You see x minus 2. Are you seeing? So I'll write here x minus 2 and the other one is what? x plus 2. But guess what? I said when you see 4, you're dividing by 2. When you see 4, you divide by 2. So when you divide 4 by 2, what do you have? 4 divided by 2. On the other one, it will be squared. 2 divided by uh, 4 divided by 2 you see there is a square even here there is a square there is a square but this is still a difference of two squares where I open up the bracket you can see it's still a square if you divide this by 2 you divide this by 2 you see it will be like 1 1 hence you don't divide now when it's a square It's now x minus 2 x plus 2 and here x squared now 2 squared is what is 4 hence it matches that part do you see this 
it's one and the same thing all right that's what i wanted to bring there for you there is another one we're here now we are here now x to the power of four minus one so the moment they give you one i told you one can be anything i mean one can be not really to say anything that's wrong but so if i say one to the exponent four you see i'm getting a one so if i say shift uh, whatever root fourth root of one it will still give me a one so one can take any power and any root so here i can actually make it to the power four because it's still one you see so you can now open your brackets open your brackets and then here divide by two it will be x squared four divided by two it's two minus one squared and then here it's x squared change the sign plus one but when you see the x with a square it means it's not done you open again your bracket you open your bracket but the last one this is done already x squared plus one are you with me it was one squared also here but one squared is simple one so x squared is here it becomes x minus one x plus one and then that's what you have all right but some they will say but i don't like you now saying one to the power of four so this is what you do whenever you get this one you open how I many brackets three brackets because you divide by two here it will be x minus one x plus one and x squared plus one are you with me where is it coming from of course i'm saying here you can write this you remove that you know that i've got two brackets since i'm dealing with one so you'll have this to say this is x 4 divided by 2 it's squared minus 1 and then x squared plus 1 then you can move on to that so 1 is a number that makes things easy to work with but most students sometimes you know they confuse uh, 1 and they get stuck there is an interesting one x squared minus x squared plus 4 so when they give you this one minus x squared plus 4 it looks a bit tricky but this is a difference of two squares simpler you always start with a positive remember four then it's minus what x squared so now it's a difference of two squares why what is four is two squared minus x squared please don't be tempted to say i always start with x follow what is given if i remove the square here and i remove the square what do you see you see two minus x that's what you write don't write what you don't see it's 2 minus x don't say x minus 2 no it's 2 plus x then the answer is like that the only difference here is that you start with a number and the x after but it still maintains the same rules of the difference of what of two squares all right so guys don't confuse yourself and start trying to you know cram it out don't cram it out just solve as it comes there it is m to the power of 4 minus 81 here i told you it's up to you how you want to do it but when you say 4 you must know f it's an even number which is good if i say 4 divided by 2 what will i get i'll get 2 so you open brackets here you open bracket here it's a difference of two squares because there are two terms so it will be m squared minus what is it remember m4 81 square root of 81 is 9 so minus 9 squared so it would be m minus 9 and m plus m squared plus 9 but are you done there no always when you see 4 be careful because it can go further you know that it's m squared 9 is minus 3 squared all right and then m squared plus 9 see then this becomes m minus 3 what would be the second one it's m plus 3 see because that was a difference of two squares and then don't forget the last one m squared plus 9 all right and then some of you are saying but i i used that shift effect on the calculator so you got m to the power 4 minus 8 1 is 3 to the power of 4 you see when it's like that it simplifies because what you do you're already dealing with 3 now divide by 2 on those fours it will be m squared minus 3 squared and then you've got m squared plus 3 squared you see that's why you can see this continues now to have more brackets here and then this is m squared plus 3 squared see that and then what about here m minus 3 
m plus 3 i hope this makes sense to you guys all right let's erase some of the things here so that i can just add uh, some look at this i'm looking at this one now this is important i want you to pay attention also i want you to pay attention here 2x squared minus 15. you see this is a difference of two squares but it's hidden it's hidden so let me write here and say n b careful 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 it's what it's a hidden difference of two squares it's a hidden one how is it hidden what how do you see remember you're in an exam and you're like but how will i see say that this is a difference of two squares focus on first there are two items there is number one and there is term number two so it's more like a binomial but you also you're asking yourself they say i must factorize so obviously there is a square okay so suspicion is a difference of two squares but look at this when you look at this whole uh, part here the only thing that makes it difficult is the 50 there you're like but there is no square for 50 and there is no square for 2 because if i say square root of 50 you see here square root of 50 it's not you know so what do you do easy one factorize 2 there take out 2 when you factorize 2 2 will cancel there and 2 will cancel 50 and give us 25 are you seeing that so that's what is happening so you will have x squared minus what 25 so there is the simplified part now when you take out 2 do you see now the answer it's x squared 25 is a square if you say square root of 25 you get 5 so it's 5 squared now do you see now what i was talking about is a difference of two squares then you've got 2 now leave that is that 2 it must not disappear the 2 then you've got what x minus 5 and x plus 5 always maintain your 2 always have that 2 if the 2 disappears then your answer becomes wrong are you with me so that is the part that i wanted you to be sensitive on some of these difference of two squares because what they do is um they hide them in a way so there is another one it's hidden it's a difference of two squares what is it it's uh i'm looking at this one now this one it's 75 a squared minus 25 when you see these two terms like this with a square suspect it's a difference of two squares okay this was uh, a bit tricky i don't think it was a difference of two squares let me see if i say here as i say uh, 25 is 5 squared but 75 is not a square so if i take out 25 outside i'll have uh what do i have here 25 into 75 is 3 a squared minus 1 so i think this was the answer here there's nothing you could have done because 3 is not a what 3 is not a square so i think the question there in a way when i was selecting these questions it was not a difference of two squares all right next one there's not dwell much there there is this one here what is it it's 18 a x squared minus 72 a and i'm supposed to simplify this and then remember i'm dealing with the difference of two squares you suspect when you say this suspect why two terms and then of course first things when you're factorizing fight check if ever there is a square root of 18 and what and 72 that's the first thing to check but you know there is no square root of what of 18 there's no square root of 72 but the question is what is it that i can factorize so that after factorizing i will leave a number which is a square so i can say 72 divided by 18 just to have a look there it gives me a 4 so already something is good here if i take out 18 but look not only 18 there is a here and there is a there so i need to take out 18 a so when the 18 cancels and the a cancels you see i'm left with x squared 18 here gave us a 4 the a cancels are you seeing what's happening there so whenever you're taking out remember it's more like you're dividing so here we have got x squared right minus 18 there is 4 that's basically what you'll be having it's 18a but now there is a difference of two squares 
18a x squared minus 2 squared. So what do we have? Which is equal to 18a, it's x minus 2 and what? x plus 2. Then always maintain that 18a. We have simplified that thing. Alright, I hope you guys are paying attention to this and it's making sense. Moving on to the last two, look at this one. It's now, I want you to also pay attention there. It's a minus b squared minus 9. This is a difference of two squares also. It's hidden. And b, you might not get it as such in your exam, but it's good for you to practice on this. Can you try it out? You never know. Can you try it out? Look at this. 9 is what? a minus b squared. 9 is a square, right? And then minus 3 squared. So open your brackets like this, please. It's still the same. If I say to you, forget about this, what do you see? Write what you see. I see in brackets a minus b minus 3. That's what you're going to write. So let's write that. So there was a bracket a minus b, right, minus 3. Now the second one is a bracket a minus b, right, plus 3. That's the answer. But you see this bracket inside is not making any sense. You can just remove it now as a minus b minus 3. And then the other one is a minus b. Don't say a plus b. No, it's a minus b plus 3. You need to be careful. Look where the sign is changing. This was the sign. So the sign is here and the sign is there. The sign is here and the sign is there. The a minus b is remaining as is. Making sense? I hope so. Let's do the last one so that we can wrap it up. This is your last, last, last one. Same thing here. You have got your x minus 1 squared minus 1. And I told you minus 1 is the simplest number because it can be a square. So what do you do? You also open the brackets as they are. And then remember it's a square here, like a square. So you ignore those squares. What do you see? You see x minus 1 in bracket. See? Minus 1. The sign is changing there. So you have got again x minus 1 in bracket. But now you have what? Plus 1. You see where the sign is changing? The sign is changing here. So it's minus and it's a plus. That's where the sign is changing. Then from here, open the bracket there. It's x minus 1 minus 1 and x minus 1 plus 1. You see this? Now, you, you need to take this further. Don't just stop there. So what is minus 1 minus 1? It's x minus 2. And then minus 1 plus 1, this cancels. It's x. There is the final answer. But usually you start with x. So it's x, x minus 2. It's better to start with x. But even if you leave it here, that's correct. So guys, what am I trying to say? If you were doing factorization and you're looking at the difference of two squares, this was the way to go. I hope this guys makes sense. Don't forget to join this channel. Don't forget to be a member. Join us so that you can be notified every time we are um, uh, posting new videos. And guys, do me a favor. Can you please send or share this channel on your WhatsApp, on your Insta, or I don't know you guys, your social media, what you use or Facebook. Just take one of the videos you're watching. There is a share button. Just share it to your friend. Let them benefit also. Remember, don't be selfish. Don't sell fish because you're not a fisherman, okay? So selfishness is because of you. if you're selfish, it means you don't want to share. You just want to do this alone. Benefit alone. At the end of the day, you get a distinction alone. I know it's cool, but just be a, your friend. I mean, it's your friend after all. Just let them benefit. Give them something also to use as they prepare for your final, their final exams. Anyway, you are the best. See you again in the next lesson. And what is happening in the next lesson? I am factorizing a what? A trinomial. You don't want to miss this. Something like this. You are factorizing, for example, it would be, if I can say factorize x squared plus 5x plus 6. And then I say factorize. This is where you end up coming with these two brackets. All right? Where you talk about the product and the sum method. Product and sum method so what do you do join in the next lesson because 
This is where they can make it or break you in terms of factorizing. You don't want to miss the lessons. So join me definitely in the next lesson. Thank you.